Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen from Zergrino Sports here, and today we are back at it again with some more of our WWE SmackDown Raw 2007 GM Mode Series, and today we will be doing our Judgment Day pay-per-view, baby! Let's go. So let's take a look at what we did last week. In the go home show, we had a two and a half star rating for the show. We had Booker T uh, trying to get, trying to build on the momentum that RVD got uh, the previous week uh, by beating Joey Mercury, but he could not with Johnny Nitro winning that matchup. Next up, we had Kane uh, being attacked backstage, essentially within the kayfabe. I couldn't do it in the in the game, but it, in the game it's just a handicap one on two on one. But within the kayfabe, it would be a two on one beat down backstage on Kane. Because Kane came to Matt Hardy's rescue, kind of, uh, to team up with him the previous week and gave some issues to Kennedy and Umaga. And then, uh, so they took him out of the question, took him out of the equation for this pay-per-view. Uh, then Matt Hardy, he had nothing to do and he wanted a match, you know what I'm saying? He wanted a match, he asked the GM for a match so he could warm up, get ready uh, for the pay-per-view. Batista wanted a match because he is on a little bit of a losing streak. He's fallen off a little bit by the wayside and he wanted a match because he wanted to try and get back to winning ways. He wanted a nice competitive match to try and turn his luck around and they both got what they wanted with that match right there. Then we had Gregory Helms facing off against Shelton Benjamin. So basically with this this, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go a couple weeks back just to show you what happened with this. So basically, uh, I have to go back in further week, don't I? So anyways, um, Shelton Benjamin and Carlito were in a little bit of a back and forth with title matches. Shelton Benjamin defended against Carlito because Carlito beat him in singles, earned a shot. Shelton Benjamin lost it to him. Then he invoked his rematch, then won it back this week. And then Carlito's like, you know what? I'm going to invoke my rematch clause next week. Show comes around. And then uh, he, t on, during the show, he's like, hey, GM, not, nah. Nah, mind games. I'm not invoking it this week. I'm invoking it a judgment day. And then GM's like, well, I advertised the match. We're having the match. It doesn't have to be you. We'll have somebody else fill the spot. Gregory Helms fills the spot. Carlito then attacks Shelton Benjamin in the match to cause a DQ. And, um... That way, keep the title on him. Then Gregory Helms is like, "Hey, I got cost a shot at the match. I want another one, or like I want to, I want to, I want to beat up Carlito. You know what I'm saying?" So he's like, "Okay, yeah, you get, you get a match with Carlito. Sure, no problem." Gregory Helms wins that match against Carlito. Then he's like, "Hey, you know what though? I just beat the number one contender. I should be the number one contender." GM's like, "Hey, uh, he's contractually, he has a contractual obligation. He is." owed a shot legally but what i can do is if you beat the champion tonight you can uh get added into the match and gregory helms then gets attacked by carlito during the match carlito thinks he's been smart because he causes a dq ends the match thinks it's just going to be a singles but lo and behold attacking gregory helms means he wins by dq which means he gets added into the match so that's what that triple threat is about at the pay-per-view right here, you know what I'm saying? We got some of that right there, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then what else did we do last week? We had a match uh, with Randy Orton versus Ray. Basically, Randy Orton would have cut a promo uh, talking shit for the pay-per-view. Ray Mysterio would come out and been like, hey, you know what? You got a title match. I got a title match. Let's have a match just to see if one of us can gain momentum going into it. Randy then wins the match. After the match, Chavo tries to attack Ray. Ray fends him off, embarrassing Chavo further, which is the whole theme of their rivalry. And uh, Randy Orton lost to The Undertaker in the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament Finals and then won a match to earn his... Uh, number one contendership for that match speaking of that match eddie guerrero was supposed to be in it but kurt angle attacked him during the entrance way because kurt angle and eddie guerrero have been in a long feud you know what i'm saying kurt angle and eddie guerrero they uh they 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 were a round one matchup in a world heavyweight championship tournament kurt angle was unhappy because he lost eddie guerrero he was unhappy that he lost and that that match went on that early and ever since then he's been obsessed with trying to get back at eddie guerrero and beat eddie guerrero he's cost him matches he's attacked him during matches he cost him his semi-final to uh, randy orton and then he cost him a spot in the triple threat, which was supposed to be a triple threat between him, Randy Orton, and Batista to determine the number one contender for Undertaker, but uh, he took him out during his entrance, took him out of the match. Then Eddie Guerrero got Paul Burchill to beat Kurt Angle the previous week uh, and embarrass Kurt Angle because Paul Burchill it was his debut and he's not of the caliber of Kurt Angle. Then Kurt Angle asks for a match where Eddie Guerrero is banned from ringside. Kurt Angle then just beats down Paul Burchill until he gets disqualified. And then when Eddie comes to the ring, it's a trap. He beats the living hell out of Eddie Guerrero going into the pay-per-view so those are all the rivalries that are going on right there let's take a look at the email nothing let's take a look at the rosters here 
terms of popularity, we're doing okay, I guess. Uh, contracts, we have a few people on two weeks. Uh, we'll deal with those after the pay-per-view, after we get that nice pay-per-view money. And, uh, yeah, man, without further ado, there's not really much else to do. I mean, we have that United States Championship triple threat right here. We have a handicap match, Kennedy and Umaga versus Matt Hardy, because they're in a little bit of a rivalry. Kennedy and Umaga have teamed up together uh, due to being disgruntled at the position in the company. Um, and, yeah. And then we have the Tag Team Championship match, Booker T and RVD invoking their rematch clause, because Joey Mercury and Johnny Nitro won it recently on an episode of SmackDown. Then we have the Cruiserweight Championship match between Ray and Chavo. Then we have Kurt versus Eddie. And this is also a number one contenders match. So the winner of this match will go on to face the winner of the main event for the World Heavyweight Championship at a later date. And uh, the World Heavyweight Championship match, of course, is Randy Orton versus The Undertaker. So that's the card. Um, no, nothing on velocity. <clears throat> because Kane is out of commission. Um, and then uh, Batista, we're doing a little. We'll do. We're doing a little something, something with him. Um, and then Paul Burchill just doesn't have a shot, a, a place on the card. Other than that, I think everybody on our roster is included in the card. Um, yeah, just Batista and Paul Burchill are the only ones, and Kane. But Kane is written off in kayfabe with an injury. So yeah, man. Uh, without further ado, we'll just get into the match, man. We got we got the pay per view. We we ready, man. We ready for this. We got. Gregory Helms, Carlito, and Shelton Benjamin. So we're going to go ahead and look at the match rules just to make sure there's no DQ. DQ is on. Whack. DQ got to be off for them triple threats, man. That's just how triple threats work. DQ is off. That's just how triple threats work in, in, in just base wrestling logic. Anyways, we're going to be playing as Shelton Benjamin. Uh, the champion going into the match. We're going to go ahead and crack over the cold one with the boys while we pick our people in this match. You know what I'm saying? Please sponsor me, Peace T. So we got Carlito, Gregory Holmes, and Shelton Benjamin in this match. And it uh, should be fun, man. Triple threats are usually fun, so this one should be fun too. <sighs> Please sponsor me, Peace T. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I never want another story that got cut off. Oh yeah, man, I love Gregory Helms' theme. I do miss my time, but honestly, this one's bomb. This one's bossing, bro. Hell yeah. Oh no! Oh no, I made a mistake. I forgot to- I forgot to edit Eminem's entrance. I forgot to edit Eminem's entrance. When they have their match later, they're gonna come in with that weird entrance. Oh no. Oh no. God, I can't even back out of the mode now because I fucking I confirmed the match card and everything. My word. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Fuck. You know what though? Like fuck. <laughs> fuck. Oh man, that that's rough. Okay. Well, if I might just record their entrance out of the mode and then just edit it in instead or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll wait and see. I, I, I'm going to either include it as is, or I'm going to go out and then edit it back in or something. Of people who don't want to be cool. Carlito, 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 Carlito. We got your man right here. I like this uh, I like this stage a lot for Judgment Day, you know what I mean? I like the stage a lot, the little end of the world uh, globe theme going on. I like the two Titantrons, uh, like shape and size on the sides and most importantly I like that it is a unique stage design unlike the copy paste bullshit of the of the current product which I talk about all the time but uh, just thought I'd bring it up once more because it's just it's embarrassing um, you know what I'm saying yeah I don't know man I don't know man whatever Carlito's making his way to the ring. Is he gonna win that title? If I have anything to say about it, then uh, not not really. But um, you know, may maybe I'll lose. You know what I mean? The difficulty, I believe, is unchanged. I don't think I changed it because I honestly forgot again. <laughs> oh man, I'm actually really upset about the. Eminem entrance because like before I started recording like 20 minutes before I'm like okay before I start recording I gotta do that entrance and then I didn't 
You can't rock with me, no stopping. You can't rock with me, just drop it. Ain't no stopping me, no. So that title is just permanently glitched on Shelton, then, I guess. Ain't no stopping me, no. Look at him, bro, with that title. With that big old title around his waist. You know what I wonder? I wonder what winning the Rumble does popularity-wise. You know what I mean? Because I was just thinking in my head, like, how low Shelton Benjamin's popularity was. I was like, hold up, though. Like, speaking of popularity, how much will the R Rumble affect? Like, if I end up having somebody who wins the Rumble in my thing, like, does that give them, like, a big fucking popularity boost? Or is winning the Rumble just a plus one popularity boost? Because, like, honestly, it should be a plus ten. Let's be honest. A Rumble win should be a plus ten, um, um popularity boost or, po or plus five at least you know what i mean because that's winning the goddamn rumble you know what i mean so yeah there's benoit who we will still try and get on our roster eventually when i have somebody of the of equal potential potential um what am i trying to say popularity that's that's the word uh of, of equal popularity to trade for him that i'm willing to get rid of i have people i can trade for him with right now but, uh, how do I run? What? Oh, there we go. Alright. Ooh, look at that, bro. Look at that, man. Come on, man. I'm probably not even gonna use weapons in this. I just, I just don't... Just, um... Triple threats just don't have DQ in them. Just point blank, period. So I just turn the DQ off. I'm not gonna go out of my way to use weapons. But, um... You know what I mean? Like, that's just, that's just how it is, man. Ooh, yeah, let's double team him, man. Let's double team him. Hell yeah, man. Ooh, look at that, bro. Here we go with this right here. Oh, come on, bro. Dude, dude, you gotta chill. Hey, hey. Bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Here we go. Boom, look at that leg maneuver right there. Nick Patrick is right in the middle of the action. I don't know what the fuck he expects from us. You know what I mean? Is this an actual submission? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, he got out of it, or... Or did Carlito save him? Here we go, here we go, here we go. He reversed that, but all right. Whatever, man. Ooh, okay, that's not good. That's not good for me, at least. Not for me. Not for me. Uh, let's, let's get a uh, good old... Okay, Nick Patrick, you gotta get the hell out of the way, man. Here, Nick Patrick, let me, let me pick you up, man. I can't actually pick him up, but, uh... Let's, uh, let's get you with one of these. There you go, Carlito. And, uh, hey... Hey, man. Hey, Gregory. What up, Helms? Boom! There we go. That's my guy right there. That's my guy right there. That's what I was looking for. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oof! There you go. I'm gonna store that, and I'm actually gonna get you with a good old German soup, la baby! And then, um... Ooh, I ran into a clothesline. I was trying to duck underneath, but I forgot how. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? I forgot how to do that. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There you go. Uh, let's go like this, let's go like this, and let's go like that. That's not a German. So he doesn't have the big release German like uh, like Kurt, but he does have a German, which that is not a German, but um, you know what I'm saying? Let me let me go underneath like this, and let me get you with a good old German souffle, baby. Let me get, uh, oh no, hey, hey, what it do, man? Here we go, here we go, boom. Come on, cover him, bro. Cover him, bro. One, two. Oh, he kicked out. Oh shit! All right, I thought I thought Helms might like just make it in time, but uh, he didn't. Carlito uh, just kicked out. I thought Carlito was the one with the orange head. I just didn't read the names. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. Ooh, nice takedown. Your boy right there. Come on, come on, sir. Come on, sir. The German Supla, baby. Hey, Carlito. Hey, what it do, man? Oof, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Ooh, there you go. And I'm gonna pick your ass up, and then I'm gonna do it with one of these. Does he... Does, does this... Yeah, he just... He, oh, shit. Gregory Helms, is he gonna get there? Oh, wow. Gregory Helms got there, man. Nice. The AI actually breaks up pins, like, smartly in this game. Uh, let me, let me get you with another one, though. <laughs> Just stare like the other game. No, wow, they see there's no idiocy 
in uh, in triple threats in this game. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. There you go. Uh, there you go. Let me let me get a nice taunt up on them. Yeah. Let me get a nice taunt. Get some momentum going. You know what I'm saying? I definitely need to change the difficulty. I'll tell you what. Because uh, this is uh, this is going way too easy, man. This is going way too easy. Ooh, that's a nice DDT. Hey, what it do, Lito? What it what it doing, Lito? What it do, Lito? What it do, Lito? There we go. That's that should be it. That's a good old one, a two, a three. And that means that your boy Shelton Benjamin retains that United States Championship at the Judgment Day pay per view. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. Um, nice way to start off the show the face one so it gets a big face pop to start off the show and uh i think that match will not get that great of a rating because gregory Humphrey's popularity is kind of low to be honest but um yeah i don't know it is what it is you know what i'm saying probably get like two and a half or something it was for the title it's at a pay-per-view it's a rivalry i think like a two thumb up rivalry at this point so like it's all right it's all right look at that image right there look at that image right there bro that's the champ right there <laughs> you know what i'm saying nice way to start off the show with a nice old title defense and in the next match i believe we also have a title defense or do we have the handicap we have the handicap, right? All right, perfect. So we'll go ahead and play this match right here as well. Obviously, we're playing all the matches. It's it's the pay-per-view. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play. And we're going to be playing as Kennedy, 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 and Umaga because it's a tag. So we'll play as both. Sure, why not? Oh, uh, 84 and 83 to Matt's 84. So we are going to kill them because we have the man advantage. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I wonder if I can win this match. I think I'm definitely gonna win this match. I need, I, I definitely need to update the difficulty. I was about to meme that that song, but it gets they keep the songs aren't long enough for the loading screens to get to the point where I can meme them for for the most part. You know what I mean? Some of them are, or some of them start the lyrics early enough, but I can slap a tornado. I can try to foresee it. When I live for the moment There ain't no way no with me Yeah There you go man, it's Matt Hardy It's Matt Hardy, he coming to the ring for a fucking slaughtering apparent, Essentially He's doing the job tonight, you know what I'm saying Unless Unless he fucking wins Somehow And then I'll be very embarrassed and tell you to pretend that he lost But Yeah, I don't know Look at him, bro, doing his little taunt on the on the on the ropes right there. Remember when he uh, when he fell out of the ring in like 2010 uh, on like Superstars or something when he did that taunt and he just fucking fell over. He just leaned a bit too too far forwards and then he fell over. Incredible, bro. Incredible. I like how you can see part of the stadium is full behind the Titan Tron on the titan sean you know what i mean i think that's a really nice touch i don't know if you noticed it or not but maybe when umaga makes his entrance i'll be able to point it out because like in between the tron and the set um the, like that right tron and the and, and the the set with like the entrance way and 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 the earth above it and shit like that there was a space in there and you could see that back corner of fans so i i think that's actually really really cool I'm not gonna lie so yeah. We got your man's right here, Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy. Right here. Now that I have everybody's, everybody's attention. attention. Who'd just like to remind you that I weigh in tonight at, at 246 pounds. pounds. I hail. From Green Bay, Wisconsin, Mr. Kennedy. Hell yeah, bro. Look at him, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Friday. Yeah. Was he in 2006? I don't think he would have been in 2006. SmackDown was about 2006. I think this would have been his first game. And then I can't remember if he was in 2008 or not. I think he was. I, I think he would have been. But I, I don't remember. I mean, Shelton wasn't in 2008. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't surprise me if, if, if Kennedy wasn't either. And then now, I, now we got Umaga, you know what I'm saying? Now we got Umaga. See, okay, look. Oh, okay, well, it cut. But, like, between between the Titantron and the set, there was a little opening, and you could see the corner of the fans through it. And I think that's just a really cool touch uh, to the set design and shit in this game and the realism of it and all that. Because, like, that is how it would have actually been. Because it's, it's like, a, a break. In the, it's not, like, completely connected and shit, right? So, like, yeah. I just think that's cool. I just think that's cool, man. And we got Umaga right here. Who surprisingly was actually fairly lean in his first run. I just forgot that he was as lean as he was in his first run. Um, so, like, apologies for that. Uh, for, for mistaking it and, and thinking that this was too lean of a character model. I mean, it's probably a little bit too lean. But, like, honestly, it's, it's mainly spot on. So that's, that's pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just I just completely had revisionist history of him and just kind of assumed his later run was what he was like the whole time. But yeah, he was a lot more lean in the, in the beginning of his Umaga run, you know what I'm saying? We're going to drink some of this PC. Please sponsor me while we wait for this to load in. Ah, please sponsor me, dude. Please. All right, man, you ready for this, Matt? We picked on you because uh, you a bish. You a little bitch. Yeah, you a bitch. Yeah, you a little bitch. Oh my god, I forgot Kennedy has the weird strike. Hell yeah. Look at that kick, bro. Ooh. 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 Why does he have this kick? There you go. There you go. Punch on him a little bit. Punch on him a little bit. Pick his ass up. Ooh, look at that, bro. Ooh, look at that, bro. Here we go, right here. What's this gonna be? What's this gonna be? Uh, kicking him? Yeah, look at that, bruh. God damn, bruh. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom. Um, let's get you right here. Let's into the corner. Whoop. There you go. Let's get you into the other corner. Let's get Umaga in here. Let's get Umaga in here. Oh shit, he reversed. Alright. Alright, okay, okay. Gee, okay, Miz. Skull crushing finale. But like the most half-assed skull crushing finale in ex in history. <laughs> like, my word. Alright. Bro, what you doing right here? You trying to submit me? Is this an actual submission? Oh, it is. Bruh. Alright, I mean Umaga came to my aid. Oh, Umaga's gonna fuck him up, bro. Pump handle fucking s in the, into that right there. No, Nick Patrick, you gotta chill, man. Nick Patrick, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Nick Patrick. Nick Patrick, I'm gonna punch you in the face, man. Come on, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. I got the kicks. I got these kicks, boy. Fucking Matt Hardy. Bruh. I can't believe uh, fucking Kennedy has those kicks. Honestly. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he have that kick? You know what I mean? Like, like who made the movesets? <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, bruh. Come on, bro. Ooh, look at that, bro. Yo, can you dive? No, I can do this. Nick Patrick, get over here. You want some of this, Nick Patrick? You got it. You got it, Nick Patrick. There you go. To the back of your fucking head. Come on, man. What to do? What to do, man? Come on, man. Ooh, look at that, bro. Ooh, look at that, bro. Oh, wheelbarrow something. <clears throat> oh, he's got him, man. He's got him. You don't see this, Nick Patrick. Oh, look at that, man. Look at that. Ooh, smack in your head, too. Boom. Look at that, bruh. Got him. Now, does he have it from the from the top rope? Or, or uh, I'm assuming it's from the top rope, right? Yeah. Okay. See, I kind of assumed he was going to reverse. So I decided to just try a regular move there. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and try and tag Umaga in, though. There we go. Let's get Umaga in here. Let's get Umaga in here. Hell yeah, man. Let's get Umaga in here. Yeah, man. Let's go off the ropes. And then we gonna get you with a good old fuck you, dude. That's what we gonna get you with. 
and then we gonna go top rope with Umaga, and we gonna do one of these right there. And then we gonna pick you up as Umaga, and then we gonna get you with that Samoan spike, baby. And then we gonna, uh, we, we, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna tag in Mr. Kennedy, Kennedy, and we gonna get reversed by Matt Hardy, who literally just got killed. Um, that's okay, because Umaga smacked him in the back of the back. In the back of the back? Across the back. That's what I was trying to say. My word. Here we go. And we got the good old Green Bay plunge right here. And that's going to be it. Boom. Look at that. That's it. That's it. He's not kicking out of that. He ain't kicking out of that one. No way. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Dispatched. With ease. With relative ease. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about with a W. I want to get Davari on our roster just to have him on our roster. Um, but, like, I don't know. Maybe bring him on as, like, the jobber and then have him win the Rumble and then win at Mania or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just a meme. Uh, I probably won't do that because I, I like to try and use this series as a creative outlet for, like, my more serious ideas and shit like that. But, like... I might actually do, because like somebody commented down below, he, he wanted to see like a big meme thing, like create Kenny and have him win the title and shit. But like, maybe one day I'll do a meme version of, of, of a GM mode and just have it like no like good people on the roster, just like memes who are shit on the roster, you know what I mean? I, I feel like that'd be a fun little experiment to do like a mini series, not like a weekly one hour thing, but like a, like a highlights thing. Like I'll play the whole thing and then show you like the highlights like, oh, this week he did this and then this week he did that and then this and that. Like, let me know if you'd want to see that at some point in the future. Um, next up, we got this match right here, uh, right, right here. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and play it, obviously, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to be playing as Johnny Nitro. We'll play as Joey Mercury as well. Eminem will be, hopefully, retaining their titles. 86 Nitro, 82 Mercury, 60 Molina to 87 Book and 89 RVD. This might be a little bit difficult because of the overalls, but I, th I think I'll do okay. <coughs> Alright, man. Alright, man. We got Kane on the, on, on the loading screen right there. You know what I'm saying? We got Kane on the loading screen. He's a big dude, man. He's a big guy. Big, big guy. Um, yeah. Sucker. No, 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 we got your man Book right there coming down the ring. So with Book, and si since I'm um, since I'm playing as Eminem, I can tell you pretty much, like I'm trying to win. Obviously, you, usually when I play as somebody, it's because I'm trying to win. Um, so you can probably tell that uh, RVD and Book are intended to lose for this match, just because I'm playing as the other team. So basically, with Book and RVD, what I want to do is have Book be kind of. Um, having confidence issues. I, I can't remember who got pinned because it doesn't show you who gets pinned when you simulate the match. But um, I'm, I'm gonna say, assume that Book, <coughs> cause obviously I had Eminem beat them in a non-title and then fight for the title the next week and then beat them in the title, right? So just assume that Book was the one who took the pin on the non-title and the title match. And then obviously RVD beat Mercury and then Book lost to Nitro. So Book is having um, confidence issues, and he's like, "Hey, like I don't know, man. Like I'm, I'm sorry. I lost us the titles. I lost us, uh, you know, the match that caused the titles happening. I lost and didn't give us momentum going into the pay per view, man. Like I'm, so I'm letting you down." And RVD would just be like a cool dude. He'd be like, "No, man, it's good. When we'll, we both lose in the match, no, one of us doesn't lose. We both lose. We both win. We're a team. I'm with you 100 percent." Don't worry about it. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then hopefully I'm going to try and pin Book. If I don't, just pretend I did. Uh, if I lose, just pretend I won and I pinned Book. Um, but yeah, so we're doing a little self-confidence uh, meme with uh, with Book uh, and, and RVD. With Booker having no uh, self-confidence. He's kind of, you know what I mean? He's like, oh man, I'm letting, I'm letting down the team. Hey, here it is, man. 
this abomination. They come out as a team with Melina, though. At least they have the right entrance. <laughs> this is such a meme. You know what, though? I think I think I'll just record it out of out of out of the series and just put it in. Cause I can't, man. I can't with this. <laughs> God damn it. Oh man. Yeah, I'll just record it out of out of out of uh, out of the mode and then just dub it in. Cause right now we've got um, yeah, <laughs> we've got uh, we've got bullet with a name playing and then the Kurt Angle theme. But we do have the actual Eminem entrance animation. Just we in my what I'm seeing, what you're not seeing. You know what I mean? I don't know. Whatever, man. Oh, is it gonna show the good stuff on this entrance though? Is it gonna show the good stuff? Ooh. Oh, not really. That's good. I don't I don't wanna have to put Chavo's head over a fucking <laughs> over a malfunction again. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't see what I'm like. I mean, I am seeing what you're gonna see. I just have different audio, and and, it, and I really want to meme the audio, but it's not gonna make sense to you because you're not gonna hear the audio because you're gonna hear the real audio that you need to hear. But I'm just. I don't know why I'm like this, man. I I should have just not mentioned it, not mentioned that I forgot, and just edited it and acted like nothing ever happened. That that's what I should have done. But of course, I'm I'm an idiot. So yeah, um, I'm not looking forward to this match at all because the one tag match i played in this series was in like episode like two or three or something and it was fucking or like episode four or something it would have been after i got ray into the team and onto the roster i think or maybe i still had cena i don't remember i don't care um i just yeah i don't know man <laughs> i don't know Ooh, okay, bro. Ooh, look at that go behind. Ooh, look at that maneuver right there, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's a dumbass maneuver. <laughs> that one. Hey, there it is. Alright, man. Does he, uh, does he have springboards? Oh, you, you know, there, there are no springboards in this game. I forgot. 2008 was the first game with springboards. Um, isn't that crazy to think about? Like, there were no springboards before SmackDown Never Saw 2008. Isn't that insane? Like, they're just such, like, a given now in, in wrestling games. But, like... Before that, like, it wasn't a thing. That's incredible, man. The the evolution of, of gaming is incredible. Come on, bro. Hey, man. What'd it do? Ooh, look at that right there, bro. Ooh, I'm beating his ass, though. I'll tell you what. There you go. Again with a good old... Ooh, backbreaker. I'm, I'm about to bury Book. I'm about to bury Book. No meme. That's his finisher, really? Really? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the animation on it just doesn't look good. If it's like a double underhook snap DDT, I'll 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 like it more. But like, it it wasn't. It was just a double underhook like fucking lazy like floated DDT. You know what I mean? And that that looked kind of dumb. That looked kind of dumb. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, come on, bro. Come on, book. Stay in the match, man. Oh man, I actually don't like this. I actually don't like this. Whoop. There you go. Yeah, yeah, give me, give me RVD, bro. Give me RVD, bro. Here we go. Ooh, let's not, let's not do that, man. There you go. There you go, RVD. There you go, RVD. There you go. Come on, man. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, he's got that good neck breaker. That's what I'm talking about. And then we're going to hit him with a DDT just to get his damage uh, going, you know what I'm saying? And then we're going to go ahead and uh, do that good tag team wrestling thing. You know what a great thing about tag team matches in the old games are? You don't have to worry about that hot tag shit. Ooh, there you go, RVD. There you go. There you go, brother. <coughs> nice poke of the eyes right there. Poke of the eyes, you know what I'm saying? Baba de boopy. Uh, que cosa? And then we're going to go to... I don't know what's wrong with me, man. Why did I just randomly reference fucking Family Guy un unprovoked? Um... Ooh, let's not do that, man. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. There you go. There you go. 
There you go. Let's get him with the with this good shit right here. Let's get him with this good shit right here. Let's get him with this good shit right here. Right here. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Let's fucking go. Let's uh let's get the gabagoo. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker. Um. Whoop. Damn it. He reversed. All right. Come on, man. Damn it, man. Ooh, look at that, bro. All right, never mind. Uh, let's go. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted at all. Um. Let's, 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 nope. Ooh, there we go. Um, I don't even know if tag team finishers were a thing in this game then. You know what I mean? I don't think they were. Ew. Ew, what the fuck was that move? Bruh. I'm so confused as to what that move was. Go tag out, RVD. Go tag out, man. Oh, what the fuck? What are you doing, man? Get out of here. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, smack the shit out ya. Ooh. Come on, man. Alright, I'll taunt, man. You go tag out, I'll taunt. I'll taunt a little bit more. Look at that. Hey, look at that. Look at me, look at me, look at me. I reversed while I was taunting. Hell yeah, I hate that, but I'll abuse the mechanic. I'll do it. Don't, don't you... I didn't try and actually do the finisher. I was trying to store it, but it made me do it, and he reversed it. So that's fantastic. I'm gonna just taunt again. Get some more, uh, some more momentum going in here. Some more momentum going in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, get his ass up. Get his ass up. Boom. I mean, stomp. Uh, that's not a stomp. I don't know why he has that dumb shit as his move, man. Honestly. God damn it. Nick Patrick, you some bitch. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna store that. I'm gonna get him away from he. There you go. Okay, Nick Patrick, if you want to stop getting hit, stop getting in the way. <laughs> like, that's my biggest problem with this game so far. That and the rope hang uh, thing. I don't like either of them. Yeah, no, no tag team finisher. Ooh, I like that, though. Let's try and pin him off that. Let's try and... You know what, though? I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to attack RVD here. I'm trying to... Yeah. There you go. All right, now now go pin book. Pin book. RVD is dead outside too. Nice. Book's probably gonna kick out. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, nice, nice. All right, definitely need to imp increase the, uh, <laughs> the difficulty. Definitely, 100%. But um, yeah, man, that that was that was a match. That was a that was a contest between individuals and and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, man, it's some good shit right there. It looks like just and still, the tag team champions of the world. Nitro and Mercury. Eminem. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about, baby. Look at him, bro. Look at him, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Nice ending image with those nice tag team titles. Not, not none of that fucking, fucking dime looking bullshit now. I hate those tag titles. I hate most of the titles in the company right now. Because all of them are just like copy paste bullshit. Or just poorly made bullshit. You know what I mean? Like most of them. Um, anyways. On to the next match, we got Ray vs. Chavo. We're going to be playing this, of course. Chavo defending his title against Car uh, Carlito. Uh, Chavo defending his title against Ray, and we're going to be playing as Ray. We're going to be playing as your boy Ray Mysterio, you know what I'm saying? Which means I'm probably going to kill him because I'm 90 and he's 82, which means I have a big, big advantage. Alright, man. Ahem. <coughs> Let's see what's going on here. We're gonna drink some of this PC while I, while I wait for this to load. Hell yeah. Orale, orale, andale. What you gonna do when we come for you? Ho, oh. oh. Buika, buika, 619. Hey, buika, buika. That's my bueno. Buika, buika, 619. Hey, buika, buika. Rey Mysterio. Buika, buika, 619. Hey, buika, buika. That's my bueno. Buika, buika, 619. What you gonna do when we come for you? I, um, I'm just noticing now, I believe, that he has different color eyes in this game. 
His eye contacts are one's white and one's no contact, I think just his natural eye. So that's interesting. We got your boy right here making his entrance. Is he gonna win that title? If, if I have any save on it, then yes. But uh, you never know, you never know. I might lose. I could possibly potentially lose. You never know. You can never take anything for granted in video games, you know what I'm saying? Buika Buika, that's my bueno. Buika Buika, 619. Buika Buika, re misterio. Buika Buika, 619. Buika Buika, that's my bueno. Buika Buika, 619. What you gonna do when we come for you? Oh man, I remember uh, they released a CD with a bunch of songs on it. They had uh, they had Mark Henry's theme from the time, they had this theme from the time. And at that time, YouTube wasn't like this big thing. So there weren't many songs on YouTube, um, the, and many entrance themes on YouTube, or if they were, they were really hard to find. Um, and they got deleted constantly. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I don't know. I had to buy that CD and I was listening on it on repeat because that was some of the only ways you could listen to music at the time. And even before then, when YouTube wasn't a thing at all, when it, not even when it was new uh, and there wasn't much on it, but just when YouTube didn't exist at all, I think I've mentioned it on the channel before, but in order to listen to the entirety of uh, John Cena's theme, what I would do is play as him on Day of Reckoning 2, win the match, and then leave it on the victory screen until it went through the whole song. <laughs> and I had to listen to that like that like compressed fucking video game version of that audio to listen to his whole entrance theme at the time. Um, so that was that was a meme, man. That was a meme. It's so much easier for electronics and shit now. It's nice. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't even like. Like it was, it was tough to get some certain types of media when I was a kid, and like I was, I was not even in a like bad time for technology. You know what I mean? Like fucking early two thousands. Like yeah, I mean it wasn't like the best, but it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. You know what I mean? So it was still tough to find some shit. But yeah, I don't know. Whatever. We gonna try and win this title right here. We gonna try and win this title from your boy Chavo. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Come on. Come on, Chavo. Okay. Let's get you with, uh... Ooh, look at that, bruh. Ooh, look at that, bruh. Nice reversal. And that's a reversal from your boy. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. I'm gonna smack you so hard your hair's gonna grow back. I swear to God. I swear to God, Chavo. I'm gonna smack you so hard your hair's gonna grow back. <laughs> Don't doubt it, bruh. Wheelbarrow Bulldog. Nice. We'll go top rope and then we'll go with one of the Y. Y. <clears throat> I hate the moves that don't have connecting animations, you know what I mean? I hate when moves do have connecting animations and they just don't register as well. That's also a pet peeve, you know what I mean? Here we go, right here. Ooh, look at that, bruh. Just count it, man. Just count it. Just count it. Just count it. Actually, just count it. Ooh, he kicked out. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, lady. Am I just? Oh, I was gonna say. I need to try and like, like fucking uh, squash him. You know what I'm saying? Let me get, let me get some of this right here. Ooh, there we go. Oh shit. This actually might be it. This actually might be it. Ooh, god damn, bro. I, I aimed for the hairline. If that helps, Chavo. I didn't aim for the nose or the face or anything. I aimed for the hairline on that 619. Hopefully, hopefully that's okay. I hope you're okay with that. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> oh shit, he kicked out. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. <coughs> Ooh, look at that shotgun drop kick thing. Like the little pop-up shotgun drop kick. That's not nice right there. That's not nice, Carlito. Carlito? Why do I keep calling Chavo Carlito? Wait, no, I called Ray Carlito, and then I called Chavo Carlito just now. Why do I have Carlito's name on my mind? So goddamn much, bro. Ooh, look at that, bro. Come on, bro. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Nah, it's not, it's not time for you to fight back, Chavo. That's not what this is. Come on, bro. There we go. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, there you go. Oh, shit, he reversed? Okay, he's, he's not taking this without a fight, you know? 
He's, he's putting up a minimal fight. There you go, take him down, you know what I'm saying? Pick his ass up and then get him with nothing because he's going reverse. He's turning it on, man. And he's, he's fucking doing some damage to me, I'll tell you what. Oh, I thought you could actually run into that. Okay. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, there you go. I wonder if another one of his finishers is a frog splash. It's not, okay. But I can do a 450. No, I can't. That's just a random fucking move. What? Oh man, I thought I thought Y was the finisher again. I've I've literally done how many finishers in this episode, and I still thought Y was the finishing button. What is wrong with me? <laughs> God damn, bro. God damn. All right, we got we got that six one nine right there. I was kind of bummed out when he stopped using the uh, the West Coast pop. I guess this would be called. Um, for the pin on the, on the 619 and started using like the dive and shit. What the fuck? He kicked out again. Oh my god, man. He's putting up a fight, brother. Oh, there you go. There you go. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Here we go. Come on, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's, let, let's, come on, man. Let's, come on. Come on. This is what, this is what legends are made of. Bruh, Chavo, I need you to stop. Is this a, what the fuck is this? I got I got out of it luckily it like immediately incredible another submission bruh really why am I in the middle of the fucking bar bruh I'm a yellow bruh in the middle of the bar a yellow in the middle of the bar is orange like like orange is the middle color that should be the middle of the fucking damage bar on the fucking submission what come on bruh hey that gave me a finisher Unreal. Alright, man. Oop, here we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted, actually. Alright, man. Alright, man. Is oh, shit. He reversed my finisher, bruh. Oh, my God. He got me that kitchen sink, bro. That, that synced up really well because I started running and he started running. And then that worked out. Wow, he's putting up a fight, man. I might lose. Like, honestly. Maybe not, but, like, you know. You know, you never know. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And do a DDT or no? That's not the one. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, come on, bro. Get your ass up. Never mind. He's not going to let me pick him up. All right. All right. All right. True, 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 true. So I'm, uh, I'm going to just do this and I'm going to do, okay, that's not it. That ain't it. That ain't it, chief. That ain't it, chief. All right, chief. All right, chief. Okay, that's not what I wanted, actually. All right, chief. Okay, chief. Chief, this ain't it, man. Chief. Chief, this ain't it. Chief. That's not it either. What the fuck? Oh, that, that is it. I tried that earlier and it didn't work, though. It made me do the roll under thing when I did the upwards one. Again with the reversal. What is going on with Chavo right now? What is going on? Don't... Oh, fucking... I thought he, I thought he was about to do the fucking rope hang thing and just beat me off of that. He just missed. Kind of. He kind of nicked me on the way down. I'm gonna need you to chill, Chavo. I'm gonna need you to chill. I'm gonna need you to chill, dog. Come on, man. Come on, man. What, what, what is this all about, man? What is this all about right here? What is this all about? Ooh, look at that, bro. That's not what I want, though. That ain't what I want, though. Boom. There you go, man. There you go. 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 Boom. There you go. All right. Get your ass up, man. Damn, he's reversing again. What is going on, man? All right, man. Here we go. 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 Here. We go. Here we go. I think this is the DDT one. Yep. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get him with the taunt right here. You know what I'm saying? Whoop. Boom. Hell yeah, brother. And he reversed again. I'm very actually shocked at how how much he's fighting back. But please, please, wait a second. Boom. There you go. Okay. Maybe he got used to me doing the finisher as soon as I pick him up, so maybe I wait a second and then do it and that tricks the AI. I don't really know. I don't know how these games are coded, bruh. Leave me alone. <laughs> there you go with that 619 and the West Coast pop, and that should be the 1 2 3. He kicked out a 3 of them, didn't he? I, I feel like he kicked out a 3. And then that's the one that put him away. He kicked out of 2 at least. But I feel like it was, he kicked out of two at least, maybe three, and then he reversed two or three more, and then I got one. He reversed two more, and then I got one. He put up a fight. He didn't, he didn't let go of that title easily, man. 
But nonetheless, we have a new Cruiserweight Champion, and his name is Rey Mysterio. Come for you. Oh. Look at that. Oh, he busted him open, too. Okay, I'm sorry about that, Chavo. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize about that, Chavo. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, man. What it do, man? We got Ray with that title, baby. We got Ray with that title, baby. Let's go. Look at him, bro. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Ray. Look at that. Look at how nice that looks. That Cruiserweight Championship around Ray's waist. That's what I'm talking about, man. That is what I'm talking about, man. All right. We got uh, Tori Wilson on our loading screen, which is not on our roster. We don't have any women besides Melina on our roster because we don't have the women's title. So, and their popularities are really low, just like the Cruiserweights. So, yeah, you can do the, uh, like, there's a segment that you can do in the promos for like a bikini contest or something apparently that does good ratings or something i don't know uh next we have a number one contenders match for the world heavyweight championship kurt angle versus eddie guerrero uh where you're going to be playing this match of course and we're going to be playing as your boy eddie guerrero you know what i'm saying we're playing as eddie against kurt he's probably going to kick my ass but uh it's the price you pay i ain't the savior is that, is that what it said? I ain't your savior, I ain't your will, I ain't your burr, 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 I don't know. Ah, please sponsor me, PC. Hell yeah, bro. You suck. You suck. You suck. You suck. Oh, they actually have the crowd doing it too. Okay, cool. I didn't I didn't notice that until then. Um, let me know if you liked the the version of his theme that I included last week, his ECW theme, uh, the remixed one, or if you like the theme that he actually has in it. Because like the the you suck chants are iconic and shit like that, and I like them. But like I don't know, man. That ECW theme is just na another level another level it's just fucking he's insane bro and it encapsulates it encapsulates just how much of a machine he was in his prime and it's fucking unreal so I, I love that theme a lot but let me know which one you guys prefer uh down the down in the comments you know what i'm saying um now we got eddie guerrero right here i lie i cheat i steal you i lie i cheat i steal you hell yeah we got eddie right here there we go. Look at that low rider. That low rider going nuts. I lie, I cheat, I steal. We got Eddie right here. And if I have anything to do with it, he's going to win that match. And he's going to be the number one contender. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. I miss Eddie, man. God damn. I miss Eddie. Oof. Did he always wear the knee pads above the tights or no? Because he has the knee knee pads above the tights in this game. But I feel like his, uh, I feel like he wore them underneath. Because you could see the logo all the way down, but the logo gets, like, cut off at the knee pads, it looks like. Or the logo is just shorter on this attire and it doesn't go all the way down. That might be it. I, th I, think, it, I think the knee pads were above, though, because I could see a different texture around the knee pad area. Uh, so I think maybe that might have been it. I, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> Here we go, man. We got uh, we got this environmental grapple bullshit, man. I I, I actually don't know about that, but uh, I I will not. I I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to learn it again. Um, here we go, man. What to do? Hey, come on, Kurt. What to do? Oh shit, that's a reversal immediately. But guess what? I'ma do right this, right here, right this, right here, right this. Boom. Go behind. Get you with one of these. And I'ma get you with a good old roll up right here. Counter ref. 
I don't want to get momentum from kicking out, so I'm not going to let that go through. Uh, poke your eyes, little bitch. Go behind, you know what I'm saying? And then get you with a reversal, actually. Yeah, you reversed. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, German supla, baby. He hit me with it, bruh. He hit me with that German, man. Ooh, but I'm going to fight back. I'm going to fight back. I'm going to fight back, Kurt. I'm going to fight back, Kurt. Here we go. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Boom. Boom, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to get you with one of these right here just so I can get behind again and see if Eddie has a German or not. Uh, he doesn't, but he has this. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do one of the... Oh, sheep. Get out of the ring. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And then we're going to do one of these. And then, okay, that just didn't connect somehow. What? All right, dude. All right, man. Go behind, go behind, go behind. Oh shit, he reversed. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Rolling, 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 rolling. I can't roll in this game actually, but you know. In in spirit, I am rolling, rolling, rolling my way out of out of danger, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, that fucking chop, bruh. That fucking chop, bruh. My word, that chop is insane, brother. Ooh, look at that. Let me let me let me let me let me let me try and do that chop again. Oh shit, that's a reversal, man. Ooh, that's not nice. Ooh, but guess what? I can reverse too. What is this gonna be? Ooh. Oh, that's a that's a submission. Okay, 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 okay. Um, how do I get out of it? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna store that. I'm gonna store that, and I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna try and get him with that. Yeah, right again. Um, I I think I'm gonna replace the lasso with El Paso with uh with the Brain Buster, if I can remember. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which I, I need to remember. I need to remember to do a lot of things in this game that I keep forgetting to do. Um, ooh, look at that right there. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. Boom. Look at that. Sent him flying. Oh, shit. Here we go. What's going on here? Why did I pin him? What? I tried to pick him up. Why did it pin him? What? <laughs> Why did I pin? What? Come on, man. Come on, man. I wonder if uh, Eddie can steal finishers. You know what I mean? Come on, bruh, you gotta chill, man. God damn, man. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Here we go. There we go. Oh, poke eyes. Poke that eyes. Poke that eyes. Poke that eyes. Ooh, look at that, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're one of these, ready? Roll them up, bro. Roll them up, bro. You ain't kicking out of shit. I thought that actually worked for a second. I love the near falls in this game. Uh, let me get you with another one of these right here. Yeah, let's. Okay, I was gonna try and I was gonna try and put the lasso from El Paso on him, but uh, that did not work out. Oh no 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 shit! I don't even think I can get out of this. Honestly, I don't even know if I can get out of this. I really don't. I think you're just kind of stuck in there. But uh, I think he's hurt more than me, so I should be able to get to him first. No, nope, never mind. He got to me first, despite me actually being less hurt. Um, get the fuck out of here. You think you're doing a fucking 10 corner punch, bitch? Huh? What do you think this is, huh? What do you think this is, huh? Come on, bruh. Ooh, there you go. Oh, shit, that's a reversal. Oh, but guess what? That's a reversal, too, man. That's a reversal too. Oh shit, but that's a reversal though. But guess what though? Oh no, he got me. Oh, that's a German. And that's another German. And that's a third German. Yeah. Yep. That is a third German supla, baby. So I'm gonna run, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get him in, uh, in this predicament right here. God damn, he's still reversing, huh? Ooh, look at that, bro. I'm gonna I'm let go, and then I'm gonna do one of these, and then I'm gonna let go, and then I'm gonna do one of these right there. And then I'm gonna do... Bruh, you gotta stop with these reversals, Kurt. Like, I understand you're 95 and all that. Oh my god, again with the fucking reversal, man. Again with the reversal. I got the reversal, too. There you go, man. There you go. But guess what? Okay, then he reversed the move outright. Fantastic. How much momentum did that give him? Excuse me. Bruh. Bruh, he almost has a finisher. He almost has a finisher. Bruh, I need to, I need to, I need, I need, I need to get something. <laughs> I need to get something off on him. There we go, there we go, there we go. Boom. How did that, like, I understand Eddie's a face and that should technically lose me momentum, but like, still. Like, it's Eddie, man. Like, that's his whole gimmick, bruh. Like, that's his whole gimmick, bruh. There we go. 
Here, you know what it is, though? You know what it is? Here we go. This is what we'll do. That's not the right thing. That is not the right thing at all. Um, bruh, stop it, man. Stop. Here we go, 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 here we go. Dude, you gotta stop with these reversals, Kurt. You gotta stop with these reversals, Kurt, because that gets him a finisher. Does it not? No, see, it does. Please, man, please, please, please. There you go. Come on, man. No, man, no, man, no, 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 no. That's not cool. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. Boom. Okay, that's not the move I want, though. That's not the move I want. Come on, man. Come on, please. Please, man. Let me let me go behind. Let me get him with, uh... Yeah, pin him with that. Pin him with that. Oh, it's ropes, man. Come on, man. Get closer. Get closer. No, fuck. Oh, my God. He's, he's, he's scaring the shit out of me, man. He's scaring the shit out of me, man. Here we go. Roll him up with this. How? What the fuck, man? Why? Okay, get all the way over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. I reversed. I can't. I actually reversed it. I cannot believe that. Brother, I cannot believe that shit, man. I cannot believe that shit. Brother. 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 Ooh. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, please. Just count it, ref. Ref, count it, ref. One, two. Oh, he kicked out! What? So I'm so so when when I have shit, I'm not allowed to kick out, but like when when I get pinned when I'm red, I'm not allowed to kick out, right? But they're allowed to kick out? Come on, man. Come on, man. Actually get down. Get down. That's not what I wanted. I wanna win with the roll up. Just for like story purposes, you know what I mean? Oh, here, 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 here. There we go. There we go. Boom. Come on, just win them with the roll up. Come on, please. One, two. Bro, really? Really gonna make me do this shit? It always, it never turns him around the right way. Like he, he never bumps the right way from this shit. Come on, bro, get in here. Get in here, Kurt. Get in here, Kurt. I honestly, Kurt, I just want to win with the roll-up, but you're not letting me win with the roll-up. Get in here. What the fuck are you doing, man? There you go, man. There we go. I think that's three amigos. One. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We'll just win with the, with the frog splash, I guess, then. <coughs> there you go. There you go. There we go. And there we go. He's going to reverse. I can feel it. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. That's rope break, brother. 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 You gotta be kidding me. Fucking end it. There it is, bruh. I won with the roll-up after all. <laughs> there we go. All right. I wanted to win with the roll-up because it gives, it gives Kurt kind of an incentive to still think that he can beat Eddie, because like his the whole rivalry I'm basing it off of is is having Kurt have this obsession that he can beat Eddie Guerrero in a one on one match. Like he can beat Eddie Guerrero. Kurt Angle full heartedly wholeheartedly believes I can beat you, Eddie, and Eddie just keeps coming out on top and keeps you know what I mean in, in matches and shit. And Eddie has not lost to Kurt yet, I don't believe, in a match. So Kurt's just like I can beat you. And winning with a roll-up kind of leaves it open to interpretation. Because winning with a roll-up means, hey, he was really resourceful and he won. But he didn't get a decisive win with a, with, with, with a finisher or anything. You know what I mean? Like, he, he did what was needed to be done and won with the roll-up. So I'm happy he had that move on him. So I could do a roll-up win for that. Because that's pretty good. I like that she right there as it continues to go on. And obviously, Eddie is a number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship now. So... That's, that's the other implication of that matchup. And now we go on to the main event of the evening with Randy and Undertaker. We're going to have to watch Undertaker's entrance. Oh, man. We're playing as Undertaker. He's going to hopefully be able to retain today uh, against Randall Keith. Randall, Randall Keith. All right, man. All right, man. Uh, please sponsor me PC. We're gonna drink some more of this PC while well, this loads, because my voice is starting to go. <sighs> Hell yeah, please sponsor me PC, dude. Hell yeah. So good. Very good. The following contest is scheduled <clears throat> for one fall. On Look at your boy Randy Ray. From St. Louis, Missouri, Look at him. A king. 
a young king. Nothing you can say, nothing gonna change what you've done to me. Now it's time to shine, I'm gonna take what's mine. Take what's mine. Hey, nothing you can say, nothing gonna change what you've done to me. Now it's time to shine, I'm gonna take what's mine. You're gonna burn in my light. There we go, man. Nice meme in that good music with my horrible fucking memeing of it. Uh, but yeah. We got your boy Randall Keith right here. Randall, Randall Keith. You know what I'm saying? Main man. Main man. Well, he's not gonna be the main man tonight because he's gonna lose, but you know, still. Hey, nothing you can say, nothing gonna change what you've done to me. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro, that's what I'm talking about. Look at him, bro. Same character model as 2008. They got lazy. Probably because he got injured. So they didn't have an updated model, right? Because he got injured in 07 when the game came out. But like early 07 or something? Or like mid 07 or something? When did, when did he get injured? I forgot. Honestly, I forgot. He was on the poster for No Mercy, though, so I think he would have been at No Mercy. <coughs> Excuse me. So I really don't remember. We got uh, Undertaker making his way to the ring right here. We got the lightning to start things off, which I liked. We got this nice smoke. I think that's a good smoke effect. Good lighting of the smoke effect. And we got Undertaker with that World Heavyweight Championship coming to the ring, bruh. Hell yeah. Look at her. World Heavyweight Champion, The Undertaker. You know what I'm saying? That is what I'm talking about, man. He he walks to the ring like like he was 80 years old, though. I'll, I'll tell you that much. I will tell you that much. He walks to the ring like he's 80 years old and can barely walk anymore. Um, so I will see you guys in 2084 when he makes it to the ring. And you know what I mean? Until then, you know, grab a snack. Uh, live out most of your life, um, you know, just chill, just chill for, uh, you know, for 65 years, and then, uh, we'll see you then. We will see you then. Yeah. Come on, bro. Come on, bro, please. Please, man. I'm gonna need you to hurry up. And get in the ring, Undertaker. Yeah, you can roll your eyes into the back of your head. Oh, you're spooky, man. Come on, please, man. Just get in the ring so I can win this match. I wonder if we've seen him in his last match ever or not. I know Goldberg, when I'm recording this, so this comes out on the Sundays usually. Uh, I'm recording this on the Saturday. Today, I believe, I think it was today, it might have been yesterday on the Friday. It was either Friday or Saturday. Uh, like, Goldberg said that him and Undertaker should have another match. Like, he owes Undertaker another match. Because the, 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 the last one was just trash. And I'm like, come on, man. Nobody wants to see that, Goldberg. Nobody wants to see that, Goldberg. Nobody wants to see you wrestle in 2020, Goldberg. Leave it alone. Just retire, man. If you need money, do something else, please. Just leave us alone. Let us rest. Please. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, you were cool and shit in the 90s and the early 2000s, but, like, it's 2020, man. By the time this match would take place, it would be 2020. Nobody wants to see that. Ooh, nice clothesline by The Undertaker. Right there. Nice maneuver right there. Marry me, RKO. Wow, that's, uh, people be shooting their shots in these crowds, huh? Ooh, look at that, bro. Sidewalk slam. Nice. Pick your ass up. Oh, shit. Come on, bruh. Ooh. Bruh. Bruh. What you doing, man? Bruh. Let me get my- let me get my punch. Ooh, that's not my punch, that's my kick. I wanna get- Bruh, Randy, you gotta chill, man. There you go. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Ooh. Okay, maybe Undertaker is not that great. Maybe Randy Orton will win this match. Cause like he's, granted I'm, I'm trying the one thing, I mentioned it I think in last week's episode or a, a recent video at least, that uh, I'll get fixated on doing one thing when it doesn't work and then do it until it connects the way that I wanted to. Um, 
and at my own detriment in the match. So there's that right there. There you go. There you go, man. Let me get your ass up. Really? You're going to reverse that? Ooh, look at that. I reverse, though. I can reverse, too, baby. And I'm going to get you with, uh, what is this? Ooh. Oh, I, I remember when he used to do this, man. This shit used to be a nice move, man. Wow, Randy's really putting up a fight, man. Like, like he's he's only one overall less than Undertaker, but I just Undertaker is usually just so OP. I thought it would just be like I'm pretty sure the match I had against him for the World Heavyweight Championship on SmackDown was just like really easy. You know what I mean? Granted, he has a lot of momentum, but like I've done, I've got him to yellow and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on, bro, you got chill, man. You got chill. You got chill, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Taunt. Do a taunt. Oh, that's... Okay, hold up, hold up. Here we go. Nice DDT, you know what I'm saying? And then pick his ass up. And then get him with the boom. One of those right there. That's what I was trying to do earlier. But I was just doing the wrong direction. Because the other direction was just a quick one that doesn't actually get, like, carried through. Oh, my God. Yo, he might be, uh... Oh, shit, you know what? Wait. Oh, I thought I... Damn it. I thought I timed the reversal right, but I didn't. But I didn't. I have I have my own finisher though. Can I can I like get up and 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 do it? Why didn't he pin me? Probably because he knew I would, I would not get pinned this early on. But like I don't know, man. Please get up, get up. So like uh, I reversed it, but I didn't uh, get up in time to store my finisher. I think I'm gonna try and beat him with the last ride in this one. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe get a nice little last ride in there. Oh shit! Maybe we can submit him. Are we actually gonna be able to submit him? Oh, we're actually gonna be able. To, okay, I don't want to submit him. Actually, <laughs> I don't want to submit him though. Uh, let's get him with one of these arm maneuvers right here. Uh, let's go with one of these. Let's go with one of these close lines. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, now I gotta try and figure out. Uh, I forget which one's old school. You know what? Just just get him with the just get him with the last ride. Just get him with the last ride. Screw it. Why not? Why not? We got him with that last ride. All right, perfect. Pin him. He might kick out because he's orange body, to be honest. Maybe? No, didn't kick out. All right, that's it. And still, the world heavyweight champion is The Undertaker. Uh, the, f the the funniest thing about The Undertaker is that like, he has his actual entrance, but then his winning animation with the title is just a random winning animation, I'm fairly certain. It's just like the generic like baby face, like, oh my god, I won the title, I can't believe it, or oh my god, I defended the title, I can't believe it, I'm so happy, cheer for me, crowd. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. There was a We the People sign with the We being the WWE's Scratch logo. <laughs> nice. I didn't know that was a gimmick way back then, but... You know what I mean? Whatever. Don't end it like that. There we go. End it on that image, because that way you can see the title. That's what I'm talking about. We got Undertaker retaining that championship right there. So, uh, we had one title change tonight. The others were title retentions, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. All right. I'm thinking like a three-star pay-per-view, three-and-a-half-star pay-per-view maybe. I'm going to say like 500K fans. Give me 500K fans. 700K. All right. I undershot. Nice. Perfect. Raw rating got a three-star for the week. How much did I get? What did I get? What did I get? What did I get? Come on. Give me that good shit. I got a four-star rating for the week? Does that mean I got a four-star pay-per-view? No, oh, pay-per-view was three-and-a-half. All right. Nice, man. Nice. I'm happy about that. Emails, nothing. Okay. So let's let's take a look at the let's take a look at the thing. So we got a three and a half star pay per view. Okay. This got two and a half. Nice. This got three. This got two and a half. Why? Oh, cause Mercury's so low. Nitro is okay and Molino's okay, but Mercury's fucking low. Um, Ray and Chavo got a three and a half. Kurt and Eddie got a four, and then Undertaker and Randy got a three and a half. Nice. All right, we got that little bump up of, of the monies, too. So we're going to go ahead and renew some contracts. We're only going to do some five-week renewals. Uh, we'll, we'll give Kane a five-week, and then we'll give uh, Matt Hardy a five-week. Um, and then um, Melina, yeah, we'll give her a five-week, too, you know what I'm saying? 
You know what I'm saying? Give her a nice five-week contract extension. And the next thing we have to do is just Paul Birchall in a few weeks, but I might just let his shit run out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's go propose trades. Just see how shit's going uh, on Raw. Um... Okay, so Benoit's at 77 popularity. He keeps growing in popularity, and that's worrying me because, like, I need to be able to trade for him. You know what I mean? Like, I'm already... <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, did they release anybody? Super Crazy and Psychosis looking spicy for that tag division. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay. Uh, Eddie up to an 88. Ray up to an 86 with the title, I guess. Undertaker up to an 86. Kurt at an 84, Batista 81, Randy 81, RVD 74, or 75, Kennedy 74, he's close to Benoit at least I guess, Benoit uh, fucking Booker 71, Molina 70, Umaga 69, <laughs> uh, Carlito 67, Nitro 66, Shelton Benjamin 66, Chavo 65, Virtual 62, Mercury up to a 60 there. Uh, Kane up at a 60 there, Matt Hardy 57, Gregory Helms at a 52 still, man. Why, man? Why'd they screw him over that bad? Okay, we do have this uh, next week's show booked. So I'll just fill it in before we end the thing off. So the, the show would start off with Carlito, or Gregory Helms, sorry, making a promo, you know what I mean? Or uh, Shelton Benjamin cutting a promo. And Sheldon Benjamin would be like, hey, you know, like that was a great, great show uh, on Sunday. We did really well, and I'm proud to retain the title and blah, blah, blah. Then Gregory Holmes comes out and cuts it off, and he's like, hey. Or sorry, Carlito would cut out, come out and be like, hey, listen, man. I was supposed to have a one-on-one -on -one rematch, and I didn't get a one-on-one -re -one rematch, and I want that now. I don't care if you pin me. I want that now. Gregory Holmes comes out. He's like, hey, unlike you, I didn't get pinned. I think I should get another shot at that. The hashtag face GM would be like, hey, you know what we're going to do? You two can have a match next week and determine who um, gets to fight Shelton Benjamin for the U.S. Championship next. What we're going to do this week, however, is you two are going to team up and have to coincide against the tag team champions Eminem in a warm-up match for next week in a little preview and see if you guys can, can, can you know, hold your own type deal. Uh, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to do this right here. Actually, we're going to do... Uh we're gonna do that right there. That's not what I want, actually. What the fuck? We're gonna do this right here. <laughs> okay. Um, so Mercury, Nitro, and Molina, wherever she is. Boom. Uh, we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Uh, that's not the right person. What the fuck? There we go. There we go. And there we go. That's what we're going to do to start things off. Then in match number two, we have a singles match. And I will tell you why. There we go. So we have a singles match between Batista and RVD. Booker T is nowhere to be found. He, after they lost last night, he was he was really regretful and embarrassed. And kind of, he was like, oh, I'm sorry. I cost us the championships. Like, I'm not good enough, like, yeah, you don't deserve to be stuck with me, blah, blah, blah. RVD would have, once again, been like, yo, it's okay, like, we, we lost the match together, we'll get another match, we'll earn another match, and we'll win it back, it's no problem, no worries, we're, we're in this. Um, and then Booker T just went AWOL, he's not returning anybody's calls, RVD's kind of worried about him, but, uh, you know what I'm saying, RVD still gotta work, RVD still gotta work, but he's asked for a match, and RVD was, in, was free, and he's like, hey, you know what, man, like, I could use something to get my mind off things. You want a match? I I'll give you a match. We can have a nice uh, contest later in the ring. And then they have a match. Um, then in match number three, we have one of these bad boys. And it's going to be... Uh, boom against Boom. And basically what this is going to be is Kennedy is going to be really confident and be like, Hey, um, I... I'm on a roll. I will fight anybody who wants to come out here and fight me. I will issue an open challenge to anybody who thinks they are man enough to come out and fight me in a match right now. And lo and behold, Kane has recovered and he answers the challenge. Then in match number four, we have uh, Chavo invoking his rematch clause for the championship. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? We got Ray right there, and then we got Chavo right there for that Cruiserweight Championship. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, that's pretty much all that is. Then in match number five, we just have a singles match uh, between Randall Keith, Randall, Randall Keith, and Matt Hardy. There we go. Uh, just a singles match. You know what I mean? You gotta have wrestling matches. We are having a singles match. Uh, then in the main event of the evening, Eddie doesn't want to wait till Great American Bash. Eddie wants to have a match with The Undertaker right here, right now. And uh, so we got uh, we got Undertaker with Kurt Angle at ringside because they're in a rivalry, Eddie and Kurt. And we got Eddie over here. So we got that match right there. Eddie, Eddie's like, you know what? I don't want to wait till Great American Bash. I don't want to wait till a pay per view. I want to invoke. I want to. I want my championship match right here, right now, tonight, and um, right here tonight. And then he gets it with the Undertaker, and that is the card for next week's episode. Uh, the promos, I guess. Um, I wish it would show you what they currently are for the Dirty Clean promos, because I don't know what Kane is, because I need to start a rivalry with Kane and. And Umaga and Kennedy. Um, but other than that, we'll do an advertising. And then uh, we'll do... I think another advertising, I guess? Or a title match hype. Yeah, let's let's build up that title match hype, boy. There you go. Alright, let's... Uh, in our rivalries, everything's good, still perfect. Okay. Uh, so this one's going till Great American Bash, right? This one's going till SummerSlam. This one's going till SummerSlam. I guess all the other ones that I had were a short thing, Undertaker, yeah, okay, perfect. So we're going to have uh, Outnumbered, I guess, is that a two-on-one? I really don't know. Uh, I think Against All Odds is three-on-one, so Outnumbered is two-on-one, I believe. So we'll have uh, Kennedy and Umaga, that's The Undertaker. Umaga, and then we will have Kane clean. No, he's dirty. Got to turn him. All right, got to turn Kane. No worries, man. No worries. And that's what we'll do this week. Uh, so we'll get rid of the promo. We'll get rid of the advertising promo because I still want that championship hype. And we will turn Kane face. Uh, and that's what we're gonna do, man. That's what we're gonna do. So that that that'll be the card for next week. Hope you guys uh, looking forward to that. We'll go ahead and save it and then end off the episode because we've been going for quite a bit, you know what I'm saying. So we got uh, we, we, we got some stuff done, you know. We got a title change in that Judgment Day pay-per-view and we got some retentions. We got a new number one contender, all that shit. We building stuff up, boy. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If this is the first video that you're watching from the series, you can check out a link to the playlist at the end cards at the end of the video. As well as a link to my SmackDown vs. Raw... No... As well as a link to my WWE 12 Hero Story Road to WrestleMania. Um, and then I'm also doing a WWE 2K20 uh, My Career if you want to go check that out. Uh, follow me on Twitter, link in the description. Please sponsor me, Peace T. You know what I'm saying? Gotta beg for that sponsorship. That's the whole gimmick on the channel. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode because YouTube likes to zuck your boy and not put my videos in your sub boxes. So by pressing that nice old bell icon, you will get a push notification anytime I do upload and you'll never have to miss it. And uh, yeah, as always with this series, if you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. And if I like them, I'll incorporate them. And uh, yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, share all your friends, comment down below, all that good shit. And I will see you guys next time.